Welcome to Digital Commerce 360 e-commerce chat on the in-depth, exciting topic of why the future of e-procurement is happening now. And why did we choose that title? And why do we have these panels that we do? Well, I can tell you why. Because B2B e-commerce, after a long gestation period, is finally coming of age. If you want to use an analogy, the egg is now hatched. So why is that? As we all know, COVID-19 has turned the entire U.S. economy upside down. It's a painfully slow, painfully disparate, play, uh, painfully uh, uh, not fair economic recovery, if you will, if you want to even call it that. But there is one certainty that's coming out of the whole pandemic, which is this is putting all aspects of B2B e-commerce front and center. That means that technologies that were just being talked about or looked at or the tires kicked on even just a few months ago are now becoming one of the must-have technologies that a company of all sizes is going to have. Why is that? Because now you're clearly seeing this is how the business buyer wants to do business. So it's not just on the table. It is up for I should be doing this and here is why we're going to be talking about e-procurement. It's a very complex, a very misunderstood, but the timing of this technology is right and we're going to explain why the timing is right, why more people are doing it, the challenges to that, and the takeaway from doing it the right way. And we have just a dynamite panel that's going to talk about our topic today, beginning with uh, Paul DeForno, Managing Director, Commerce and Content Practice, Deloitte Digital, Billy Haynes, Vice President, E-Commerce Digital Strategy, Haynes Supply, and Brady Berman, CEO of Punch Out To Go. So to get started, I always believe that's important to set the, the, the stage. Our micro today is understanding and looking at what's driving the growth of e-procurement. But before that, just it's, under, un, un, it's important to understand the macro of what's happening with the overall trend of B2B commerce and how that's narrowing down to increased use and demand for e-procurement. Uh, e so uh, my point is, if you look at all e-commerce, this is a very big e-commerce channel. It's 1.9 trillion. Uh, it's growing by about 11 percent, about 19 percent a year. So that's all blended in. That's all blended in, and that is B2B e-commerce covers a multitude of technologies. Why is that? Because your business buyer, and as our panel well knows, there is no one size fits all when it comes to B2B commerce. A better term is digital commerce. Why is that? Because there's numerous digital touch points that the customer has with your business. So digital commerce means EDI, it means e-procurement, it means marketplaces, it means private networks, it means e-commerce sites. All that comes together for a truly unified look at what is morphing into the big picture of digital commerce. But there are certain drivers that we should be aware of here. So overall, if you look at what is the fastest growing channel in all of e-commerce, B2B commerce? Well, then it's, it's the e-commerce site, the login portal, the, uh, the marketplace, what I would call the online real-time activity. And that in turn grew last year to about 1.3 trillion at about 18.2%. Uh, about, about that's just the e-commerce size, but that's the size of the market we're talking about here. Next slide, please. Okay. so. This slide looks at how big the total digital market is. There's two takeaways here. This thing is big. 8.5% is 8.5 trillion, I should say. That is your total electronic market. Now, of course, that's a big market that incorporates a wide variety of channels I just talked about. That's EDI, e-procurement, e-commerce, marketplaces, private, you know, private networks like, let's say, SAP Ariba. So that's the big number, if you will. Why is it a big number? Because EDI still pushes about 63% of what accounts for a B2B electronic sale. But EDI is a very established technology. It's an old technology. It goes back to the 60s. And so if you look at the big picture, you've got to include EDI just so you kind of know what the total macro number is. But if you look at the takeaways here, the fastest growing channels, and our panel will explain why this is, is one, B2B commerce sites, marketplaces, login portals, and e-procurement, and especially e-procurement. So the takeaway from this slide here is that 52% of all B2B sales are in some way, shape, or form done electronically. 
The takeaway here is that 48%, nearly half the market, is still some kind of manual-based transaction, paper, fax, uh, carrier pigeon, you name it. That is where the opportunity is, and that is where technologies like e-procurement are beginning to make their way even more so into the e-commerce mainstream. So yeah, big growth rate, small online percentage, but the stakes are changing. That market share is growing. So next slide, please. All right. So let's look at the real numbers in our jumping off point for our discussion today, which is if you look at the growth rate of just pure to be uh, e-procurement, we came up with a figure of 694 billion in 2009 at a growth rate of nearly 18%. Now, uh, that is the second fastest growing channel behind B2B commerce. But if you look at my 2020 slide, I, I guess some people looking at that saying, well, now what gives here? You've literally cut the growth rate for uh, e-procurement in half from, the, from 2019. Why is that? Because the care, the care rate is this, that market share will grow, those sales will grow, but like all parts of digital commerce and, and electronic, electronic B2B sales, it's our forecast that these are going to go on at a lesser rate. And why is that? That is one of the impacts of COVID-19. This is so disparate. This is so whipsaw that one market is going to grow, PPE, respirators, healthcare, other ones, like maybe an automotive, not so much. So the, but the thing is, if you look at the blended number, some industries still shut down, some not growing as fast, others skyrocketing, but in the end, it's going to be a, another growth year for e-procurement, but not at the rate we've seen in previous years. So next slide, please. And so that's kind of the big picture of our takeaway here. But now let's go straight to the reason why you folks are here, which is to hear what the panelists have to say, the people that are doing this, that know this technology inside and out, and why it's important. So in the context of what are your thoughts on the overall B2B market, Paul?